this is going to work. Oh, let's do some science. <laughs> Hey, it's time to make a video. Are you ready? No. Oh, yeah. See, should have seen that one coming. All right, welcome back to the New Guys Garage. And today we are doing a little more XMC project, this guy right here, before we ship it off to Joseph Nowak to have him flow test it with the 850 base plate on the 600 main body. Now you might be wondering what this situation's all about. Well, this has been a project I've wanted to do for a long time. And thanks to Junkyard Necromancer, I can. He, he 3D printed this base plate for me to adapt the carburetor to a vacuum. So what does that mean? That means we can do stuff like this. <laughs> Check it. Now, admittedly, I've had this for, well, not too long. Only about a year and a half to two years. Uh, he did this for me. And, uh, well, we're just getting around to it right now. So, let's... Let's let, let let me show you what we got. All right, so here is XMC, our carburetor project. As you all know, our JB Weld, right? This started life as a 600 Holly, uh, well, carburetor with the choke horn and everything, and we've cut all that off and JB welded in there. Now, this is the base plate that it started with, right? The 600 base plate. This is the base plate we're adapting to it, okay? Take a look at the difference in the size, because it is, it's quite a lot. It, it's, yeah, I would just about say it's huge, right? And here is just a better look at the difference in base plate size. Again, gigantic. Check it. That was done all freehand with a grinder, with a, a, a Harbor Freight uh, die grinder and a, uh, a couple of knockoff carbide burrs that really probably aren't even carbide. And uh, I'm probably just lucky I'm not dead. So what, what exactly is this gonna do? I have no idea. That, that's why we're doing it and we're gonna send it to Joseph Nowak to have flow tested. Remember, right now, before we did this mod, uh, this carburetor was 112, 117, I don't remember the number, CFM overstock, and it had twice the booster signal. Now, what, I, what do I mean by twice the booster signal? Uh, twice the booster signal of a normal carburetor. Uh, normally, a carburetor will have about two times the depression of booster signal, this had a little over four, so that's, so for any given depression, the booster signal had two times the amount of CFM flowing through it. Uh, normally, two times. This had four times, so it twice the booster signal. Okay, so that's what I've been up to. Let's put her all together, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Which, now that the base plate's mounted, that's what we got. Big holes on the bottom, smaller venturi up top. So we'll see what does this do on the flow bench. It turned out really good actually. I'm pretty impressed with the overall, you know, how, how it looks. Now let's mount it up to the Junkyard Necromancer adapter plate. All right, so now that you see what we got going on here, that you know, all the work that we did, I want to see what it's going to do, you know, air-wise. I want to see where the air is going, right? Like, how, where, where is it traveling? How efficiently is it traveling? I want to try this on top of it, too, to see if that makes any difference. So, without further ado, let's just do a bunch of B-roll. B shots, just just 
a, a, an amalgamation, 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 a whole bunch of clips of this thing flowing. So let's, let's get to it. Now, obviously the way we're going to achieve fog, get some dry ice and you just plump it in there, the water and boom. Whoop. There we have fog. actually show us uh i have no idea i mean you, could, you you would have to compare it to other carburetors to actually see the difference right uh if there is any but it was cool right i mean it visually you know it, it was pretty neat uh this thing you know this thing did did stuff you know so, something right you could you could see the boundary layer. The air doesn't yet actually touch it. It just scoops over it. That was pretty cool to see. Okay, so now that all of that's over with, and I've shown you, you know, the product, I can now ship it off to Joseph Nowak to have him flow test it so we get the actual raw data numbers, right? You know, the, the flow bench, the, the thing that will give us actual data, not just our dry ice in a watering can. Uh, oh, I didn't mention it. You could clearly see it, but I didn't mention it. Now, I did not just chamfer the bottom of the uh, uh, Venturi bores. I didn't just chamfer the bottom to make this base plate fit. I went all the way up 
to the very top of the venturi and i blended it all the way down now i did not touch the venturi diameter that has always remained the same the 600 holly main body you know the 600 stock venturi opening that has stayed the same throughout the entire testing of this thing the only things that have changed are the layout on top going into it and now the layout on the bottom coming out of it but the actual restriction point has always been the same so that you know that's kind of like a challenge right how much cfm how efficient can we make this thing with that restriction right so uh just so you know that has stayed the same okay well i mean that was fun right uh I guess I'll give you a quick update on the state of things before I let you go. The engine build is really coming along. I mean, it's it's about ready to put in the car uh, at this point. I got all the rockers all adjusted. That's all on. Everything's tightened and bolted down. Except the intake manifold. That has not been bolted down yet. I put studs in here. Oh, by the way, these... Uh, <sighs> Freaking studs, man, I tell you. So I just ordered these up, just, you know, because I was ordering a bunch of stuff. They're intake studs, you know, they got the Allen on top. Um, you know, they didn't fit. They literally, only a tiny little bit of thread was sticking out uh, by the time they got threaded down. Uh, and then one broke. So... Good old Ace Hardware. Just went and got some threaded rod and made my own studs. So, you know, that's that. Uh, this, I still need to silicone down this uh, this to that. I'm using fuel-resistant silicone just because trying to cut a gasket to fit in there. No. I'm just going to slather some silicone down, bolt her down, squish it, and let it seal. It'll be fine. Uh... And then we'll bolt this down. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. That is the engine. Oh, uh, da, da, da. over here we have, I was cleaning up the engine bay, right? I'm getting rid of these hoses, these transmission cooler lines. I'm replacing those with a braided line just because, well, this situation that's going to fix all that hackery uh engine mounts now uh i didn't need to undo my engine mounts when we pulled the engine because well they were both broken conveniently right now a company called car d parts i think is their official title they sent me brand new engine mounts because they knew you know if they didn't send me them i'd probably just you know stick it back in with the broken engine mounts uh so they were kind enough to send me these polyurethane uh engine mounts they're for a later model though so uh i just need they're, they're a different style than the 65 these are like 66 mounts so i need to swap all that over and then once those are in that goes in okay uh what else what else what else Look at my tool wall. I finally got that thing going because, frankly, this place was just a giant mess. So I just tacked that up on the wall so that I could put all my tools up. That the Junkyard Necromancer, 6% recycled. Uh, Witty's Garage, Pickin' with Pickle, Does Nothing Special. Uh, Chad, Honest Paint and Garage, right? Uh, uh, I think that's all of them. The Crew generously got me as a housewarming gift so awesome guys i am putting that stuff to good use as a matter of fact i am missing one where oh there he is got to keep this place looking good right all right um yeah this thing junkyard necromancer thank you very much i finally got around to using it so that's good i think that's about it all right, well, I still got a lot of work to do. Uh, so enough playing around. It's time for me to work on that intake and 
get this thing bolted on and get it ready to put it in the car. Yeah, the, the engine, I mean. So, that's it for now, and uh, well, I'll catch you next time.